If you've ever watched me on Twitch, then you may have seen that I don't just have a Be Right Back scene, I have a Be Right Back sequence. Uh, here's how that looks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up and it's really straightforward. Let's have a look at what you're going to need. So you're going to need OBS because all of the stuff I do is with OBS on this channel. Um, you're going to need the advanced scene switcher plugin, which I'll show you the, uh, the links for that will be in the description, but I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. Um, and also optionally, something like touch portal, layer on board, stream deck, anything that, that allows you to switch scenes uh, via some sort of app or uh, hardware. Um, but if you don't have that, you can just as easily do this. It will still work if you're just use, using OBS and manually clicking on a scene. That's that's how quick this is. So what does that mean in practice? Let's have a look. What we're going to need, first of all, is the advanced scene switcher. The plugin that you can download off of the OBS website. Really easy to grab. grab. You just click the go to download button and you'll get uh, a zip file downloaded to your machine. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about what you're actually downloading, you can click on the GitHub link, which takes you to the page with all the source code, um, if that's of interest to you. But ultimately, when you click that go to download button, what you're actually clicking on really, what it's downloading is the latest release, uh, as you can see there, the scene switcher. So if I click that, you end up with a zip file on your machine. And the zip file contains uh, an installer for Windows and Macs. Also includes instructions in the README so that if you want to install this stuff manually, the plugin manually, you can do that. Now, before you actually run this installer, you do need to make sure that OBS has stopped. Uh, make sure you, you've stopped running it. You'll run the installer. It will copy over the data and OBS plugins into the right folder, and then you restart OBS. Uh, as I say, you can also do it manually following the instructions that were in this, this zip file. But once you've done that, what you'll end up with is inside OBS, you're going to end up with this new menu option called advanced scene switcher now the advanced scene switcher is uh it looks quite complex because there's a lot of tabs along the front here at the top here but uh i'm not using most of them in my current set of scenes um the advanced scene switcher that is only being used for this for the sequence tap and i'll show you that in a bit more detail very very shortly um but as you can see the thing that i showed you earlier at the start of the video here are my B right back scenes running down the right hand side. Uh, the first one there is a nested scene that I use. It's got my audio input. It's got the chat appearing on screen. It's got the B right back the, the back soon message up in the top right hand corner. I then use those the, this nested scene in all of the other scenes as well as so you can see scene B right back. So that's how I've structured it. But ultimately, I've just got a series of B right back scenes that I switch between. Now, to, to manage that, it's really straightforward. We go back into Tools, and uh, in fact, I'll click on that for a minute. We go back into Tools and click on the Advanced Scene Switcher. The first thing you'll notice is that we've got this active here, and it will probably say inactive when you first load it up. That's because you normally have the ability to uh, activate it and deactivate it in different, different ways. This gives you the ability to always start it when OBS starts or do not start it. Um, and then what you would normally do is set up a keyboard shortcut that toggles this. And you can do that inside OBS by going to File, Settings, and then when, when, when OBS finally loads the settings, there we go, hotkeys. In here, you do a filter for the advanced scene switcher, and there you go. I've got Control Shift S to start and Control Shift D to stop. Don't really actually need them set up in my particular use case, but you may need to toggle that on and off depending on how you're using your your um, advanced scene switcher. But for me, all I'm doing is in here. I normally leave this active because the only time that I'm actually making use of my advanced scene switcher features is for this be right back sequence 
if I was using them for other situations, then I would probably need to be a bit more uh, specific about when it was enabled and when it was disabled. So in my case, I can actually literally just set on start up, always start the start the uh, scene switcher. So with that active, what you then need to uh, look at for my particular use case is this sequence tab. Now, as I showed you earlier, there are a bunch of scenes, transition, socials, schedule streams, promo VT, more soon, random Twitch clip. Here they are listed down in this set of tabs. To add new ones, you just click add and that's it. Take it away. You can reorder them using this. Really straightforward. But what it looks like is this. When I'm on a particular tab, uh, on a particular scene, in this case, Be Right Back Transition, I want it to switch to the Be Right Back socials after however many seconds. You can also change this drop down to minutes and hours if that's what you need. You can also set the transition. So in my case, I'm just using basic cuts, except for this one here where I'm actually deliberately using this scheduling coming soon, which allows you to do that nice um, wipe effect that I have that says coming soon just before uh, the, the scheduled streams appears on screen. So that's it. That's essentially all I'm doing. And if you click into the transition, actually I'll close this so that I can click into it. And then I'll reopen. You'll now see what's going on inside this. You can see it's automatically jumping to socials. And then after 10 seconds, it will finish doing that. And it will show the uh, promo scene. In fact, not the promo scene, the scheduled streams screen. So there you go. That's what it's looking like. And then after that, it will jump again to a little message saying thank you for followers. And then it will jump again after so many seconds and show the random Twitch clip. So that's basically it. And when it gets to the end, random Twitch clip, it jumps back to the top transition and repeats the site sequence until I am back in my chair and ready to go. So uh, that's it. That's that's basically how I do my back, be right back sequence. It's really straightforward. If you've got any issues, troubles, questions, if you want to know a bit more about how the uh, the options work inside the advanced scene switcher, because there is a lot that I'm not covering in this particular video, but I may do more videos on that in time. Um, so if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments or uh, pop a message on Discord. Join the Discord. The link is in the description. Um, don't forget, I may even be on Twitch right now. So pop over to Twitch and have a look there, see if I'm around. Uh, if so, ask, feel free to ask a question now and I will do what I can to help. And that's it. This was a really quick video. I didn't want to make it too long and uh, hopefully that helps. And I'll see you in the next video. No! Oh yeah, I want to get out of it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.